All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Tsuwano Town in Shimane Prefecture. It's a very beautiful day. It's a very peaceful place. Very, very little traffic. Just the sound of this river flowing by. You can see these beautiful mountains with forests in all directions here, and. Right now we are about to enter a very famous shrine right here. It is one of the big five Inari shrines in all of Japan. So the Inari shrines are famous for these vermilion colored torii gates. And the gates keep the evil spirits out and the good spirits in. So what makes this in the top five is just the sheer number of gates. And it goes up this mountain here all the way up to the main hall. And it's about a 15 minute climb. And it just goes on and on like this. All the way up these stairs. Up to the top. It's kind of a mountain, I guess, up to the top of the mountain. Like this. So, like I said, it's in the the big five Inari shrines. And probably the number one most famous is in Kyoto, Hushimi Inari Shrine. You can see each Tori Gate has a sign on it. And I believe that is from sponsors. People buy or donate money to the shrine and then they can get their own Tori Gate. It's very similar at a Hushimi Inari Shrine in Kyoto. You can see already starting to get some really nice views here over the town. And you do have to be careful. Some of these steps, it's easy to trip and fall just like I did just a minute ago. In fact, when I was coming down, I saw a lady trip and fall. So you just have to be really careful coming up these stairs. And I'd say it's about a 15 minute climb from the bottom all the way up to the top. And actually, I think I'm gonna stop filming here. I think you get the gist of what it looks like, but it just keeps going and going and going all the way up to the shrine. So anyway, when I get up to the top, I'll bring that to you. See you soon. Okay, everybody, so I have made it up here to the top. And uh, I think I forgot to mention at the very beginning, but the name of the shrine is called Taiko Dani Inari Shrine. So let's go into the, the main area here and check it out. <clears throat> So this is where you purify your hands and mouth before entering the shrine. You can see some really beautiful views over the town below. You can see the river. And it's just a small town. I believe only 6,000 people live here. But really beautiful views here from the top. Here it is. So this shrine was built northeast of Tsuwano Castle. And northeast is considered a uh, good luck direction. So it was built here to protect the castle and to keep it safe. So I believe this is the, the former main hall. 
and then over here is the main hall. So people come here to pray for prosperity, good fortune, maybe a good harvest, and so forth. So there you can see the uh, straw rope just above the, the main area. And that's very typical of Shimane Prefecture, and especially uh, because of uh, Izumo Taisha, one of the most important shrines in all of Japan, is located here in Shimane Prefecture, and it also has those straw ropes. So Inari is a fox. So I think that's why the uh, the vermilion color comes from the fox. One more view over here, over the city. Parking lot is there, and actually we came by car, so you don't have to do the climb. If you got a car, you can just drive up here and park, and you're right here. So look at that view. Wow. All right, so there it is, Taikodani Inari Shrine here in Suwano. So let's continue our visit of Suwano. See you soon. All right, everybody. So now it's time to go up to Suwano Castle, and I am going to take this chairlift here up to the top of the mountain, and then from the top of the mountain, I think it's another 15, 20-minute hike. It's not too far from uh, Taiko Inari Shrine. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna go up there and uh, check out the views. I just bought my ticket It was 700 yen or about seven dollars and you can see here the uh, the chairlift runs from 9 a.m And then the last uh, return is at 420 so please be sure to catch that But anyway, I'm gonna jump on this uh, chairlift go up to the top and do the hike and then check out Suwano Castle So let's go Okay, so you can see I'm on the uh, chairlift now, and I think it's about a five minute ride from the bottom to the top. Just want to say, this is Golden Week 2024. You can see so many of these chairs are empty, and uh, it's so hard to find a uh, really nice spot in Japan that's not crowded during Golden Week, but this is it. This is the spot. Come to Tsuwano uh, in Shimane Prefecture. It's off the beaten path, but so much to see and do here, and uh, the weather's just gorgeous. So definitely, definitely recommend coming here. Uh, if you want to go up to Tsuwano Castle, you don't have to take this chairlift. You can uh, do the hike. I think it's about a 30-minute hike um, instead of doing the five-minute chairlift. But as you can see, it's really steep going up to the top. And uh, it's getting kind of hot now. So uh, for me, I think it's definitely worth it to, to pay the $7, 700 yen, and just enjoy the, uh, the chairlift. To get up to the top and then of course once I get up there to the top it's going to be another 15-20 uh, minute hike over to the castle so anyway just wanted to show you this this is the uh, the chairlift going up to the top of Suwano Castle so let's go and check it out see you soon <laughs> okay everybody so uh, I took the chair lift up and then as you saw right there at the very end uh, was the steam locomotive train that passed by and it only comes through here once a day at around 1 p.m. and uh, it's a very old train that still runs today it's mainly for tourists going between Hagi and uh, Yamaguchi prefecture and here 
uh, in Sawano in Shimane Prefecture. So uh, anyway, it comes in around 1 o'clock, and then I think it stays in the station until about 4, so you can go and visit that, and I think I will just after I leave here, and uh, you can see the steam locomotive up up close. So anyway, I'm here at the external fortifications of the castle, and today the castle is just ruins, so you don't actually see the castle castle as it originally was. But uh, we are 200 meters above the city of Tsuwano, which is about 650 feet. So uh, right there down below, that is the city. That's the Tsuwano River. And actually that bridge there with the, uh, with the traffic going across, that's the Tsuwano Ohashi Bridge. And then if you see over here on the left, there's a parking lot with a lot of cars lined up. That is the, uh, the shrine that I went to earlier, the uh, Taiko Inari shrine so just excellent excellent views here and of course we have really beautiful weather to see here into the countryside all right so there it is that's the view and this is not the main keep so i'm going to go over there and check that out and i'll bring that to you as well okay see ya Okay, so I have reached the top of the castle. This is the main keep here, and it was a pretty steep climb coming up here to the top. So let's check out the view here from the very top. You can see they've got some benches here. Wow. Wow, so nice. So this castle is listed on the uh, 100 Famous Castles of Japan. I believe I th think I saw it was number 66 on the list. Wow, these views are so nice and this weather is just perfect. You can see the ruins here of the fortifications here. And then the view down below, you can see just the Japanese countryside small village life. Wow. So nice. So this castle was built in the 1100s and then the stone walls were added in the 1600s. And then in 1686 some lightning struck right up here at this spot and destroyed a big part of the castle. And then the Meiji Revolution happened, 1868, and then in the 1870s this castle was decommissioned and stopped receiving funding. And so what's left is what you see today, just the, uh, the castle ruins. So highly recommend it for any fan of Japanese castles to learn about the history, but uh, for these views here, wow. Just absolutely amazing, especially uh, with weather like this, and even on Golden Week, no crowds. You can have it all to yourself here. Wow. Come over here and check out the view. You should be careful. You can see they don't have any railing or anything like that. So kind of walk around at your own risk. There it is. There's the view of the city. Suwano down below. Just the beautiful mountains here. So, so nice. So, anyway, this is the uh, Castle Ruins of Tsuwana Castle. So, let's go back down into the city and uh, check out the historic samurai and merchant districts. All right, see you soon. Okay, so welcome back into town in Tsuwano. I am at Tsuwano Station. And this is the locomotive that uh, we saw earlier as it passed by. And uh, this is kind of the tourist train, I guess. It passes 
uh, once a day between uh, Tsuwano and Hagi. So really beautiful scenery from uh, the town as well over here. And again, this train is here for viewing every day from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And they've got this platform here. You can come up here and see it from above. There it is. And actually, this one here, this says it's between uh, Shin Yamaguchi and Suwano. So, uh, Shin Yamaguchi is actually the station that we used coming in from Osaka on the uh, the Shinkansen, the bullet train. So I guess this goes over to Shin Yamaguchi Station. So uh, anyway, this is the place to come if you're interested in uh, old Japanese trains. And then they do have a ladder you can climb up and get inside the train right here. All right, let's keep moving on. I'll see you soon. Okay, so now I am in the historic merchant district of Tsuwano, and this is the Tsuwano Japan Heritage Center. This is the place to come to get a lot of information about the city, the culture, and different things like that. And they actually have some really friendly staff here. They have staff who speak English, French, and Japanese, and so I'm going to let them introduce themselves and uh, kind of introduce the uh, Heritage Center. So here we go. Hello, welcome to the Japan Heritage Center. Okay, I'll, I'll hold it down. <laughs> so welcome to the Japan Heritage Center. I'm Hazuki and um, I do English guides as well as French guides. So I'll give you a quick tour of the uh, Japan Her Heritage Center. <laughs> Hi. Dozo, <laughs> dozo. So in Tsuwano, we have what we call the Hyakkezu, which are 100 paintings uh, of the Tsuwano domain during the Edo period. So it's about 160 years ago. And most of these uh, illustrations can still be experienced. For example, uh, you can go see uh, the Sagimai. Heron Dance, which is now uh, designated as a UNESCO Cultural Heritage of Humanity. And you can compare with the actual photos of today. Mm, that looks really nice. Mm. And so it's interesting, a lot of the uh, cultures and uh, traditions of Tsuwano have been well preserved. Mm. Yeah, and so this is where I was earlier today. I went up mm. to the top to see the the castle. Okay. So super nice. Perfect. So it's quite interesting. We're able to learn a lot about the uh, Edo period. Um, a lot has changed since then. So what's interesting here, for example, is uh, that there's a separation between the samurai zone and the merchant zone, and it's well depicted here. So at one point, uh, in this uh, Tonomachi Street, there used to be a gate with walls surrounding the samurai zone, and uh, you had to have this kind of uh, ID to enter Interesting. the uh, samurai zone. Hmm. Mm. So this, um, uh, the story of the Hyakkezu, uh, the 100 illustrations of Tsuwano, uh, was designated as a Japan heritage in 2015. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so I do the guides uh, in English and uh, French also. Donc okay. um, bienvenue au centre de patrimoine japonais. Um, J'ai passé mon enfance au Vanuatu, donc je parle français, l'anglais et le japonais. Donc uh, vous êtes les bienvenus. Uh, je peux vous guider uh, dans le centre. <laughs> okay. <Hi>, enchanté. <laughs> Okay, I think that's good. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so this is the 
Suwano Japan Heritage Center that we just entered and definitely come here and check it out. The staff are really friendly and helpful and multilingual so they'd be more than happy to help you uh, learn a little bit more about the traditions and the culture here in Suwano. And so right now we are in the Tonomachi district. And this is the old town. As you can see, uh, a lot of old buildings. It's been preserved quite well. In fact, this street hasn't been changed. Well, the width of the street hasn't been changed since the Edo period, dating back to before 1868. So you can see a lot of some more modern buildings, but uh, you can see these old traditional buildings, lots of shops, coffee shops, restaurants, stores, and right here on the left you can see this is a sake brewery. There are several breweries here in town. And so this area here is called the Merchant District. And then when we keep going forward and we'll come into the Samurai District, which is even more uh, preserved and uh, much more historic and atmospheric I guess but still here in the merchant district still quite nice see they got the Japanese flags out because today is a national holiday it's the golden week holidays here's another sake brewery here and in fact the sake brewery that I would personally recommend is up here on the left this is Huruhashi brewery and they make a really good sake called Uijin so it is right here so if you come to Suwano and want to try some of the local sake this is my number one recommendation here so anyway I'm gonna keep going forward and go into the uh, into the samurai district so let's go check it out see you soon all right so welcome to the samurai district you can see these very uh, it's very historic well-preserved street here and actually uh, the gutters here were very nice as well you can even see some big carp swimming in the water there and you can buy some feed you can uh, actually feed the carp so uh, anyway the first thing I want to show you it's kind of interesting this is the Catholic Church of Suwano this church was built in 1931 by a German priest and right over here is a museum this is about uh, how Christians were persecuted just after the Meiji era and uh, just outside of Tsuwano there's a place called Maria uh, Sabo I believe but uh, that's a place dedicated uh, to a it's a memorial for the Christians who were persecuted here in Tsuwano but uh, anyway this church is here and it's open to the public I'm not going to talk when we go in but it's interesting because on the floor they've got tatami mats instead of pews like a church that you would normally see so let's go in and check it out All right, so let's just take a walk through the uh, the old samurai district here. As you can see, uh, the street is open to cars, but not a lot of traffic. Occasionally a car will come through, then you need to kind of get off onto the sidewalk. But here are these gutters, really nice with lots of carp. These trees add to the atmosphere here. These really nice residences. It's 
So this is the Olka family house. Looks like it may be Tsuwano City Hall. Maybe. Anyway, very beautiful. And in fact, one of the nicknames of Tsuwano is Little Kyoto because of its well-preserved historic buildings and district like this. Very nice and peaceful. Here come a few cars. But super, super nice. And then right up here, is a little plaza. And you can actually see uh, kind of these dancing birds, the uh, traditional uh, festival here in Suwano. They still do it today. So here's the Suwano River and the Suwano Bridge here in Suwano City. So everything is just named Suwano, but very, very nice, peaceful place. You can see some people just relaxing here by the river. Very, very nice place. So, okay, I'm going to cross the street over there and uh, check out that area and then finish up the video. So, see you soon. <laughs> Alright, so we are now entering a small shrine here. This is coming out the, the back of the Samurai District. And as you can see, the, uh, the steam locomotive just passed by. That was at 4.12 p.m., the departure there. And uh, I think that is the train that is going back to, uh, to Hagi. So anyway, you can see this really old tree here. Don't have a lot of information about it. It's a keiyaki tree. <laughs> so it looks like 600 years old, maybe. It's a nice 20 gate. You can still hear the steam locomotive as it leaves town. And then right over here, this is where I started the video early this morning. Right here, this is the main entrance into Taiko Inari Shrine. So anyway, I think this is going to be the end of the video today. I hope you enjoy it. This visit to Tsuwano here in Shimane Prefecture, not very uh, popular among foreign tourists, but I hope this video will inspire you to come and visit. It's definitely worth it. It's off the beaten path, but very, very nice place to visit. So come check it out. If you like the video, please kick like below and uh, leave a comment subscribe to the channel making videos like this all over japan so anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time see ya